Hello! In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use a digital to analog module MCP4725. We are going to generate some square waves, sine waves and triangle waves. And also use one LED to see the output. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. If you need a quality PCBs at competitive prices, just fill up the form on their website and you will get PCBs delivered to you in no time. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining and PCB assembly. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. For this project you will need a digital to analog module MCP4725 optional to do the experiment one LED and one kilo ohm resistor or an oscilloscope some jumper wires breadboard Arduino board and Visuino program wire everything according to this schematic Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Now let's add MCP4725 module component. In the properties window you can set the initial value, by default it is zero. In Visuino the values for the analog goes from zero to one and everything in between. If the value is one that means the output will be five volts. If the value is 0 0.5 then the output will be 2.5 volts. Since we are going to use the generators, we are not going to set the value, but you can play with it later. So, let's add square analog generator component. This generator will produce square waves. And in the properties window we can set the frequency. For this experiment I will just leave it to 1 Hz. Now let's connect the generator pin out to DAC1 pin in. And connect DAC1 I2C pin to Arduino board pin I2C. Now at the bottom click on the build tab. Uh, check the port and click compile build and upload button and as you can see the LED is blinking with one pulse per second and we can also see the square waves on the oscilloscope now let's add the sine analog generator component For this example let's add frequency 0.2 Hz and connect it to the DAC1 pin in, upload the project and as you can see we are having sine waves, the LED is slowly turning on and slowly turning off and we can also see it on the oscilloscope now let's add triangle analog generator component and repeat the same process
upload the project and as you can see we are getting triangle pulses there are many ways on how to use this module I'm going to show you one more example uh, let's add pulse generator component this one is digital so we need to convert digital signal to the analog signal to do that we are going to add digital to analog component As you can see with this component, you can set in the properties window how much will the value be for the false value and how much will be the true value. By default the value for the false is 0 and the value for the true is 1, but you can change these values according to your needs. Now let's upload the project and as you can see we are getting the same square pulses. This will be all for this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.